Hello students Advocate Bapu Sahib Bhonda High School welcome you all in our digital learning session myself Mrs Roini Sole I am the class teacher of standard 4 today we are going to study english 2 topic number 5 kinds of nouns before starting our new topic let's revise our previous knowledge about nouns nouns are names of people places animals and things students in this topic there are five kinds of nouns which we are going to study today common noun proper noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun common noun a common noun is a noun that refers to people or things in general for example car dog chair etc we have learned about common nouns a common noun is a general name given to a person place animal or thing proper noun a proper noun is a name that identifies a particular person place or things in written english proper nouns begin with a capital letter for example richard london january etc collective noun collective nouns refer to groups of people or things for example team choir army etc let's see some more examples a colony of ants a litter of kittens a swarm of bees a school of fish a crowd of people did you see anything common in these words colony litter swarm school and crowd all these words refer to a group of people animals or things so students a lot of people animals or things taken together as one unit for example a colony of ants is a group of several ants a litter of kittens is a group of several kittens a swarm of bees is a group of several bees a crowd of people is a group of several people a collective noun is used as a name for a group or collection of people or things so here a name of a group as a party of friends which refers to a group of friends a collection of things as a bunch of grapes which refers to a collection of grapes let us see some more examples of phrases having collective nouns a family of four an army of soldiers a fleet of aeroplanes a bouquet of flowers did you see the use of a and an in these phrases note the words a and an usually come before collective nouns the use of of with collective noun collective nouns are usually followed by the word of and a noun telling who or what belongs in that group the collective noun is highlighted in green color and the common noun is in blue a colony of ants here colony which is a collective noun refers to the colony the ants belong to 
a litter of kittens here litter which is the collective noun refers to several kittens as one group a swarm of bees here swarm which is the collective noun refers to several bees as a single unit a school of fish here school which is the collective noun refers to a group of several fish as one unit now look at these sentences a pride of lions is sitting under a tree a litter of kittens was born in the park a flock of geese flies north every summer a bunch of grapes was given to me when i was in hospital in this sentences the collective nouns are highlighted in green and the verbs are colored blue did you notice that the collective nouns here are used as singular nouns instead of plural nouns and they are followed by singular verbs instead of plural verbs however the use of verbs with collective nouns can be tricky they can be often appear to be plural when they are in fact singular first example a pride of lions is sitting under a tree okay in this sentence a pride of lion refers to several lions but they are considered as one whole therefore it take a singular verb each in second sentence a flock of geese flies north every summer in this sentence a flock of geese refer to several geese but they are considered as one unit therefore it takes a singular verb flies a litter of kittens was born in the park in this sentence a litter of kittens refers to several kittens but they are considered as one group therefore it takes a singular verb was a bunch of grapes was given to me when i was in hospital so here in this sentence a bunch of grapes has several grapes but they are as one unit therefore it takes singular verb was some more examples of collective nouns that stand for groups of animals such as tribe colony troop herd etc are used for groups of various animals for example the collective noun tribe can be used for group of apes or baboons etc the collective noun colony can be used for ants bats beavers penguins etc the collective noun troop can be used for a group of monkeys or kangaroos the collective noun herd can be used for a group of antelopes buffaloes cattle deer zebras etc now let's recap a collective noun is a name given to groups of similar things persons or animals collective nouns talk about several people animals or things taken together as one unit or as one whole the words a and an usually come before collective nouns a collective noun is usually followed by the word of and a noun expressing who or what belongs in that group collective nouns can be often appear to be plural 
when they are in fact singular. For example, a group of, a class of, a team of, a committee of, a crowd of, an audience of, a family of. Some collective nouns that stand for groups of animals such as tribe, colony, troop, herd, etc. are used for groups of various animals. Abstract noun. An abstract noun is a noun that refers to ideas, qualities and condition. Things that cannot be seen or touched and things that have no physical reality. For example, time, friendship, love, etc. Formation of abstract nouns. Here, many abstract nouns are formed by adding suffix dry plus ness, dryness, mother plus food, motherhood, punish plus meant, punishment, owner plus ship, ownership. Some abstract nouns end in y, ty, or ity. Joy. Beauty, Responsibility Some abstract nouns end in I-O-N, T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N or A-T-I-O-N Collection, Destruction, Admission, Admiration some abstract nouns end in e n c e c y or i c e intelligence agency advice some words are completely change anger heat fame thought height life Depth, wisdom. For example, an idea. Here, an idea is a thought. Happiness. Happiness is a feeling. So, here, an idea and happiness are abstract nouns. An abstract noun refers to qualities, actions and state of being. For example, kindness. Yes, kindness is a quality. Laughter. Laughter is an action. Beauty. Yes, beauty is a state of being. In short, Abstract nouns are words that name ideas, feelings, experiences, qualities and concepts. Here, the boy achieved success. Can you spot the nouns in this sentence? Yes, the noun success. We cannot see, hear, touch, taste or smell it. Yes, no? But we can feel or experience success. Yes? Such a noun is called an abstract noun. Abstract nouns are used to express feelings, ideas and emotions. So here, can you Spot the abstract noun in this sentence. The girl has lots of talent. We can experience the noun talent. So, it is an abstract noun. So, students, have you understood abstract nouns? Now, material nouns. 
Here, material nouns are the names of materials or substances out of which things are made. For example, gold, iron, silver, etc. Material nouns are names given to the raw elements or objects which exist in nature or created by human using raw materials. The, pri the primary source of raw materials, nature, animals, plants. Categorized examples of material nouns. So, here, material nouns from animals, honey, egg, meat, milk, silk, leather, wool, etc. Material nouns from plants, coffee, cotton, food, oil, wood, jute, medicine, tea, rubber, perfume, etc. Material nouns from nature, air, water, gold, silver, iron, copper, sand, coal, rock, sunlight, rain, earth, salt, etc. Man-made material nouns Acid, alcohol, asphalt, brick, cement, butter, chalk, ghee, cheese, dacron, ebony, in enamel, felt, gelatin, paraffin, cloth, etc. Here, is the list which we can use for material nouns. So, you all read it again and study it again and again. So, here following are the rules you need to remember to make use of material nouns in the sentences. So, here first rule articles A and or the are not used with material nouns when they are uncountable such as Meera drinks two glasses of milk every day to become stronger. Add some more salt to the dish to make it tastier. Rule 1 again some more examples in that. Honey is wholesome food and beneficial to health. Water boils only at 100 degrees Celsius temperature. Her hair looks straight in the back and wavy in the front. Rule 2. Articles A and N may be used with material nouns when they are countable, denoting types of material or showing helping nature such as I purchase a gold ring. I would like to eat a Dutch cheese. It is a very healthy wine. Rule 3. Use of the and some can also be done in the following way. The honey in the bottle is mine. Don't give it others. I saw there is some milk in the glass. Rule 4. Material nouns in general cannot be pluralized. Air is lighter than water. Fish is excellent food. Cow eat grass. Rice is a staple food. Fire burns. We write with ink. Now, here you have to identify material nouns from the following sentences. First one, we run a steel company. Among beverages, I like to drink 
coffee in the morning. Her hair looks straight in the back and wavy in the front. She is kneading floor. Iron is a hard material. The ring is made of gold. The chair is made of wood. Blackboard made of cement. Add some more salt to the dish to make it tastier. I like your silver ring in front of it. Even my gold ring looks plain. So here in first sentence steel is the material now. In second coffee. In third sentence hair. Then flour, iron, gold, wood. Cement, salt, silver and gold. All these are material nouns. So students, I hope you understood all types of nouns. Today, we study five types of nouns. So you also study it at home and practice it. Have a good day.